Okay, so um, I've been quite busy up here uh, since the last uh, time and uh, as you can see I have finished the track laying all the way down and all the way round the entire layout. So I'll just take you through what I've been doing and uh, to start with you can see that I have put into place here a cardboard um, road grid structure which goes across disguising the entrance to the storage area and what I will do is put um, some sort of vaccine on there and a road surface there and um, build obviously this up put some brick papers and things like that so that was made out of card and uh, the vaccine is in place over there and uh, that takes us into the storage area and then this area here is the sort of void in between the bridge and the other scenic section so we've got the six road storage area over there and we've got the inner oval just there and that comes round into this area here so the um, six roads are over there going behind the back scene and then we come into a, another uh, scenic area here where we have a the single track line and passing loops and sidings and that goes all the way around over to here and then here we can see the um, storage yard area um, comes back on the scene again and that I've put a frontage there that's just an artist impression of what it might look like um, it's not you know actually um, as it's going to be but the, obviously the, the actual scenic break bit and back scene that is so that comes back out on the scene again with a half relief um, station and then just following on down we've got the inner oval there main line and a connection to the main line from the inner branch line and that goes down to there where we have in the foreground the four road engine shed and there is the front of the four road engine shed and over there we've got the single track oval coming through with a passing loop connection to the main line siding there and the track work carries on with a, a fueling point over there the main lines go past there passing loops and entrance to the depot coming round over here we've got the main line in the background inner branch line in the foreground and then we go through past a DMU stabling depot area which also acts as a sort of fiddle yard because I can roster DMUs out of here onto the line into the station and that comes round conveniently into the other end of the um, station area all, all the track work is done, tested um, and it all works thankfully one um, method I use for putting the track down I use a mixture of um, I use sort of PVA wood glue and also uh, the uh, track pins as well because with temperature fluctuations I found before if I just use track pins um, you can get a warping on the track so by using PVA wood glue which is sort of element resistant anyway it acts as a really good firm sort of um, base for the uh, track and I have never had any problems with that so that's one method that I, I used was um, to glue the track and pin it as well this area here sort of is a slight resemblance to um, the Mound Tunnel at the west end of uh, Edinburgh Waverley and uh, it, it um, that was done by accident that but I'm quite pleased with that I think it looks quite effective this area here will be a sort of West Highland line type cameo and I shall have some form of whiskey distillery and um, I've got the appropriate uh, wagons there and there'll be a mountain sort of back scene put along here all the way along and I've got my Harburn Hamlet cottage there so that will be a little cameo scene in its own right going along here yep so overall I'm uh, pretty pleased with uh, progress and uh, it's uh, you know hasn't taken that long to get the um, track down 
and I'm pleased with the lighting as well the strip lights they're doing their job and um, I've um, I've glued them in place in some areas and uh, they they're holding firm and they, they do distribute the light very well so I'm pleased with that and uh, yep yeah, so that is progress so far so uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next update